Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm on here with a little um, craft with me today. We're going to make some um, treat bags using the new Jen Hadfield Peaceful Heart Collection. I just really wanted to take a little break with my Halloween crafting and yeah, use this beautiful new collection that I reach recently purchased. So um, what you'll need to do is pick out a patterned paper that you want to use. Now the way I'm doing the treat bags today, I haven't done them this way before, so it's my first time. So hopefully it turns out. <laughs> so I think I want to go with a really beautiful floral pattern. Now, I'm sorry if the lighting is really bad today as well. It's super gloomy here. It's wet. It's raining. Um, and we're still in lockdown for who knows how long and stuck inside. So, yeah, I thought I'd do a craft with me. I haven't done one for a bit. So, um, first patterned paper I'm going to use is this beautiful floral one. And let's see what other pattern we want. So I'd say we might just do two treat bags because I don't want this video to be too long. But um, yeah, I suggest maybe going and grabbing a drink, maybe some um, food because <laughs> I have no idea how long this video is going to be. And you might also hear some noise in the background as well because we are in lockdown and we're all stuck indoors. Um, I have my family here as well. They're playing games and things like that. So you might hear some noise. So just in case you guys were wondering what that might be, that's what it is. <laughs> so just get my paper trimmer. So I thought I'd go with these two beautiful patterns here. So we've got this butterfly one with the gold foiling and this beautiful floral one. And we've just gone into um, spring as well. Only, yeah, we're not really getting much of the spring weather. It's more like winter still with all this, this rain and gloominess. So I'm just with the 12 by 12 paper depending on how tall you want your treat bag to be, I think I'm going to cut it maybe at about just a little bit more than halfway. I think that would be a, um, I think that's a good height for my treat bag. Let's just see. So, yeah, I think that's a good size for the treat bag. So I'll just grab my ruler so I can let you guys know just the measurements on that using the 12 by 12. And, oh, I'm going to grab my um, terrible pinking shears as well. And we're going to do like a little, just a zigzag pattern on the top. So... Um, we go in centimetres, so this is 16 and a half centimetres in um, height and in length it is, oh, 30 centimetres, 30 centimetres in length. So we're going to do the same with this one here. just might oops it moved on me just checking that that is about the same height it's pretty close just a little bit more I think it reached to about the paper just reach to the end of my paper trimmer there. If that also helps you um, with the sizing. 
so they should be both the same then. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we've cut our paper now, so now that will give us two treat bags. Just trying to find a spot for my paper trimmer. So then what you will need is some adhesive. So I think I'm just going to use my pink roller adhesive for these. And what we are going to do is we're going to fold our treat bags to about that there. So that gives us a decent size. Now the paper that I'm using is just like your normal cardstock paper, but if you want it to be more like a treat bag and be a bit more flimsy, then I suggest using like a, a thinner paper and not like your cardstock paper like this. So I've folded that in by just almost about 11 and a half, yeah, 11 and a half centimeters. I have folded that side in. And then the other side then just gets folded over like that. Like that there. So then you've got like your little flat bit. So you can use this bit as the backing of your treat bag. So now what we need to do is just um, stick this down. So you're just going to use your adhesive along the bottom. and then along the sides there. Okay, so. Oops. I always do this the wrong way around because <laughs> I'm such an unco. And it's not a very good one so if you want to use double-sided tape feel free to do so so I'm just going to stick that down like that and then we are going to need to stick this side down as well very well. Let's just try with my... I don't have my bone folder here, so sometimes if I don't have it with me, I just like to use my scissors just to push that down if you don't have your bone folder with you. There's one treat bag. Oh, it's just a little bit crooked on the bottom there. I'll just trim that bottom bit. It's just a little bit poking out. There we go. So that gives you your treat bag. Like that. That's our first one. Do our second. So about I think that's about right. Pretty close. Actually best to do the other fold as well first because I'm just making sure yep so that's good and yep they're about the same size So 
I said along the bottom. For that middle one. Doesn't have to be perfect. Missed a little bit up here. Okay, so that should be good. sure that's sticking down good. Perfect. So there we have our two treat bags. We're going to use our pinking shears to cut along this so it doesn't matter about this little bit lip sticking over. So I'm just going to go grab those and um, I'll be right back guys. I forgot to grab them before. Okay, so I've got my pinking shears. So these are the ones that I have. They're just um, a Fiskars uh, scallop ones, but I do need better ones. Um, I don't like these ones. They're just, I don't know, I don't like them. But a new pair would um, cost me about $60, and I just don't want to spend $60 on some pinking shears. So hopefully I do this straight. I'm not the best with my pinking shears. I tend to usually stuff it up, but that's not so bad, actually. That's looking pretty good. So that's good. So let's do the other one. Yeah, usually I stuff it up big time with these. Because you got to try and get it in the right spot and straight as well. See that last bit tried to stuff up on me. Let's see if we can fix that. All right. Not too bad. Turned out a little bit funky on the end of that one, but that's still pretty good. I'm still happy with that. So that's just how you make your treat bag. Super easy, guys. So now the fun part of decorating. So I'll just grab out what I have. So give me a sec. I'm just going to pull my chair in. So I already love how this one's kind of already popping out like a treat bag does. Whereas this one just needs a bit more, there we go, flexibility. There. So I have the mirrored, mirrored stickers. I have the ephemera. This is the phrases. Um, I have these beautiful gold puffy leaf stickers I have the floral ephemera pack so I'm sort of I don't know how I'm going to go with these guys so I'm just going to wing it we'll see what happens um, I've got the stickers and the puffy stickers so Let's see how we want to go about decorating these. So I might take a look at the cardstock stickers first. See if I want to use any of these pieces for the background of the bag. So beautiful. Sorry, you might be able to hear my dishwasher in the background as well. So hopefully it's not too bad for you guys 
So I might use these for um, for my word pieces, the figures actually, for layering up. Um, just trying to see what I want to use. Go the cardstock stickers. Let's start with that. I think we'll do this one first with the butterflies. And um, let's go. I think I'll do this floral piece. Oh, these are really nice paper. Um, Paper cardstock stickers. Let's do a floral piece. Maybe about here. I'm not going to stick it down for good for the moment. I'm just going to sit it there. Like I said, I don't know what way I want to go with this. So I don't know until I look. So I think I want to go a yoga girl as well. We don't want all the colours to blend together. Just take a look. Maybe something like that. And I'm thinking maybe a rainbow. Just seeing if there are any rainbows on here. Oh, I do like those tags though as well. The tags would look quite nice behind there. Hmm. Cover this tag, it's really pretty. Oh, maybe stick, maybe a floral piece back here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to go about this. It sometimes takes me quite some time. Yeah, I think that'll work. Stick that down. Okay, so I just get my foam tape and layer up that piece. Um, so maybe about that, about that. So I'm going to prop that yoga lady up. Give her a bit of dimension. So two layers up I think let me just check we don't want it to be because it is a treat bag you don't want it to be two dimensional and I'm just wondering as well before I actually we're gonna have to go one more one more layer of foam tape
that'll be nice. Yep, that's that's good. I'm just wondering whether or not I want to prop any of these behind there or not, or whether it's going to be too much with that gold foiling. Let's have a look. I don't want it to be too much, if that makes sense. So let's try. Actually, it's not too bad. Just poking some little pretty bits and pieces through. Let's have a look. See what that flower looks like sticking out of or maybe out of here. Mm. I don't know if that'll be too much. Let me just check. Just want a little touch of maybe just that one. Otherwise, it might be too much. Go away, fly. Um, something like that. All right, I'm going to stick that down. I guess we can always add to it if we want to behind it, because, yeah. Let's just go with that. How cute is that Pilates girl? There we go. That's so pretty. Now we need a word. Um, I do like the lovely. I like that there's a lot of phrases in this stickers pack. Um, I find that a lot of collections don't tend to have a whole lot of phrases. I think that would look great right there. Probably should have moved it up. It's quite low down on the treat bag, but I can always add other little bits and pieces up here. I think I might do that. I think. So we're going to need some foam dots, foam squares. Just to layer up the piece here. So it's not sticking out. Might be too late for me to move these pieces up. I think, yep, they're there. They're done. <laughs> they're stuck there. So... Go like that, like that. One's a little bit high, but that's okay. Just push it down. I think that's quite cute, guys. Really pretty. So we just want to decorate with a few other bits and pieces. So let's maybe go the mirrored and see what that looks like. And maybe some pretty enamel dots would look nice. Okay. 
Okay, so I think a heart. Now these are quite thin, these mirrored stickers, so keep that in mind. So if you do want extra, I think I want to put a heart like somewhere like here or on the end. Something like that. Maybe we'll put it on the flower. And then we'll do a smaller heart. Up here somewhere. It's quite pretty. I said sorry about the lighting guys it is really dark here so if the lighting is terrible that's why but quite happy with that first treat bag so and we can always add more to it if we want to let's um just decorate this one you could even um add a little dangle off here too if you wanted to Okay, sorry guys, my um, sugar levels are getting a little bit low, or I should say very low, so <laughs> I just got a bit of, um, bit of orange juice. Okay, alright, so I ended up um, grabbing my Nuvo Drops. And I thought they would be quite pretty um, to add to this. So I thought if we just added a couple of Nouveau drops here and there, it might look quite pretty. So we'll do small blob. And then we'll do a bigger one. Keep in mind these will take a while um, to dry. Just trying to figure out where else I want to put them. because we could always change mm. I'm quite happy with where those are right now don't know if I want to add any more or not Let's just leave that for the moment Okay, let's um, let's move on with the next treat bag. So let's pop that to the side. All right, so how are we going to decorate this one? Just trying to see if there's oh, no, I don't want to do floral with floral because that's going to look a bit a bit weird. I love the candles, but then I'd be covering up the beautiful words. I do love the big light bulb. Um, like this big light bulb piece here. I stick that somewhere around here. I'm not going to push it down, like I said, straight away because I might not like it. <laughs> um, hmm, I wonder if we have like a gold moon coming out. I'm going to do. I do love all these kinds of pieces, they're really pretty. Maybe, maybe the sun? I 
can go somewhere here. Uh, just testing some things out, guys, before it's permanent. Just trying something out. Love the rainbow. I'm just wondering whether or not to add it somewhere here. Um, let's see if I can take off that other mirrored sticker there without wrecking my Nuvo drops. You gotta be really careful. And let's see. I'm sorry if I'm shaking, guys. I'm still I wonder if oh that's cute. Yep. Let's do that with the rainbow back there, that heart there, those nouveau drops, and then maybe we could do the heart somewhere down here. Like on the end of that L there. Yep, that looks really cute. Sorry, sometimes I just have ideas and I have to go back and I have to change them, but I'm really happy with that one now. I think that's really cute. All right, so now on to this one <laughs> still. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna get rid of the sun. And I'm thinking maybe this little wooden house might look cute. Propped back here behind something. I'm just trying to, like I said, still figure stuff out, guys. Um, pop that sun back. Love the butterflies and the candles. Such a pretty collection be able to do more of these um, pieces behind this one actually if we wanted to um, I don't even know if I want to use this piece let's see what the mason jar looks like I think because that's really pretty it kind of blends in with the bag but I think it's really cute. Look at that, it blends with the bag. <laughs> I wonder if we do like a light bulb to the side of it. Just for a bit of contrast. Let's try, Let's see what these leaves look like, maybe behind. You can't tell that's a light bulb if I do that. Maybe if I don't do the light bulb. Maybe if we just do something like that. It's a little off center, but that's okay. Something like that. Just putting my light bulb sticker back. It's um, Father's Day this weekend here um, in Australia and I think New Zealand as well. 
so but yeah like I said we're in lockdown so there's not much we can do but stay inside <laughs> and not see anyone um, and it's at this stage it's looking like it's gonna be like that till the end of maybe September for us and maybe the city might be well till Christmas it's it's, it's pretty bad at the moment here we're having our big dose of cases um, sort of only now and I mean last year we had a big dose but this year it's spread to sort of all the other states now in Australia so I'm just trying to see the good I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do next um, whether I want to just stick see the good love or do I want to pop maybe like a yoga girl or a Pilates girl right in the middle of the mason jar that might be cute let's just have a look at this one's stretching, she might be too long. Let's just try this lady out. You can always prop her up. I think that'd be quite cute putting, maybe doing something like that where she's in the mason jar. I wanna use this one. a bit too big you could even put a little house inside the mason jar actually um, hmm. so I'm thinking either that like no Definitely the yoga lady. I hope my stickers stay back on the sheet. <laughs> All right, let's grab some foam tape. And we'll prop her up. I wanted to have a bit of dimension. I'm oh, sorry guys, I'm not going to be feeling well for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm still going to be a bit shaky for a while. Do I want to go one more up with her? Hmm. Let's leave it at that. We have to be thankful we have our crafting, don't we, in these times? Otherwise, I don't know what we would do if we didn't have a hobby. It's like what keeps us sane, keeps us happy. Oh, that looks really cute there. I like that idea. And we could just pop this little, like, love, prop that up like that on the side. I think that'll look quite cute. So, it's just going to need a bit of foam tape on the edge there. Just trying to see where. So maybe about around here. My boys are trying to be really good here, which is sweet of them. <laughs> They're trying to be really quiet while I do my video. 
I like whispering, which is, you know, really hard when you're playing like Xbox 360 games. Xbox One. Oh, Xbox One, sorry. <laughs> oh, I got it wrong, guys. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm just trying to think, how does that look, guys? I think that's quite pretty. Let's, um, let me just see. I think I need something else over here. I need like a beautiful butterfly, actually. Um, I don't think I have any. Um, I would have to make some. So maybe we'll just go with our mirrored stickers for the meantime maybe let's go with the crosses yeah, let's stick across there and itty bitty baby cross I love Just do some Novo, Nuvo drops. Not Novo, Nuvo. Just trying to think whether I want that there or not. Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with those. Like I said, I'd love to have a butterfly, but I don't have any at the moment. So maybe I can stick a couple more Nuvo drops on this one. And yeah, it's done. So... I think I layered this one up way too much. Not too much foam. So give me a sec. I just gotta take off one of the foam bits off this one because the dimension wasn't right. It's not as easy, so I'm gonna just have to take the whole bit off. Get rid of that. And do one. Okay. That should be better. Yep. That's right now. The dimension is heaps better. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it turned out quite cute. Let's move all this stuff to the side. So you guys can have a good look at these treat bags. Thought they turned out really pretty. I think this one's probably my favourite one actually. So... There we have it guys, so yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one, and if you have any questions as well, um, feel free to leave them down below, and um, yeah, take care guys, bye!